Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's time to reveal our draft picks. I have taken a peek, but I'm going to move this face cam here in a second. And we're going to show you guys how we did this year drafting our players. It is shocking. I'm going to tell you that right now. Give me one second. We're going to get rid of the face cam for a second. Right, here we go. Bang! How about that for a draft class? Everybody in the high 80s. Crazy. But we'll start at the top. Mark Patton was our number one overall pick. I was really hoping he'd at least be in the 90s, but 89, we'll take it, man. That's going to be a really, really good big leaguer. Four seam slider, sinker, two seam, you can see. Stamina's decent. Hits per nine, already really, really good. Pretty stoked about that. Strikeouts per nine's down. Not too worried about it. Comes in at a 60 overall, which is pretty good for being 18. I'm not mad about that. Give him a couple years. Jorge Acevedo out of Texas. You can already see really good defender. A little bit of speed, durable. Got a long way to go with the bat for sure. Comes in at 60 overall once again. Problem is though, he is 21, so that is a little bit low, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Antonio Cosmo, left fielder. We loved this guy. 87 potential. 18 years old. Comes in at a 51 overall, which is pretty low. It'll be a while before he sees any legitimate big league time, but uh, hopefully the development goes well. He hits lefties a little bit, which is nice. And he's got decent clutch, so that's pretty cool too. Sebastian Nieves, second baseman, 88 potential. I'm pretty stoked about this pick because we're gonna need a second baseman to replace Rojas. So he comes in and his skill set really plays well, I think, for a second baseman. Good reaction, good fielding. Uh, not a lot of hitting going on here. I mean, there's nothing really that stands out about his hitting, but that's okay. Usually second base is a defense first position anyway. The one concern I do have about him is the 46 durability. That's pretty bad. 52 overall, not terrible. You know, he's 18, so we'll, we'll take that. Alberto Navoa. This was an interesting pick. I wasn't sure how this one was going to go. He ends up being an 88 overall potential and comes in at a 62. So he's actually one of the better picks, I think, of this whole entire draft. 62 overall at 18 years old, that's pretty good. We can take that, he's the Cuban born ball player. One thing I do worry about with Navoa is the hits per nine, but luckily the pitching clutch isn't bad. So pretty good across the board as far as his per nines besides the hitting. It'll be interesting to see how he does. I do like his pitch mix, you know, four seam cutter, curveball slider. I just have no idea how that's gonna work for him. So that'll be a fun one to watch. And then Marcus Manzanillo, Venezuelan born ball player, actually 90 potential. Comes in at a 49 overall though. Kinda, kinda rough. I ain't gonna lie to you, but he's got a long way to go. He's got a long way to go before he's big league ready. Hopefully he develops nicely. The hits per nine is really, really low. And I'm just not sure that's gonna work. But pitching clutch at 51 already, not bad. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. He might be a guy that allows a lot of base runners, but not a lot of runs. Um, we'll have to see. But that's kind of your draft class there. But that is your draft class. I'm gonna bring this face cam back. So there's that. So that is your draft class there. Everybody was at least an 87. That's the most insane draft class I've had. We've got a good mix of position players and pitchers. And everybody's young too. 18 years old for most of them. That's going to be really, really good for our future. I'm glad we got that under control. Locked in, man. So pretty sweet. Overall, super happy about it. Uh, hopefully next year we can keep it rolling. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Y'all take care.